What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're bringing you a 510 drip tip review. We're going to be reviewing about six drip tips each. Uh, we're going to do them together based off of uh, similar tips. Um, right now I have a really wide bore silo on there. Um, really big for a silo. He has a, a miniature smart silo yeah, off yeah. of Fugatti. Yeah. Um, if you don't know what a Fugatti is, it's a uh, hybrid dripper, uh, Genesis style wrap. Um, really nice. Um, my tip doesn't get hot at all. Really good airflow, creates really good clouds. Um, next, in our, <laughs> next in our lineup, we'll do my Scalaire tip and his Stingray Versus tip. Versus my Stingray tip. Um, all I can say about these tips are, they, they're basic, they're pretty stubby, but they are yeah. really thick. Um, short, really thick though. They're designed not to get hot. Yeah. Uh, his is a... Brass with uh, stainless steel accents, came off as Stingray, has the gear logo on the front. And mine has the uh, cartel symbol. Right. Yeah, the cartel lion. Um, the stingray, you don't have to buy a stingray to get the tip. Uh, I've seen places they sell them for like five bucks and buy for two bucks off Aztec. Really nice, short, wide bore tips. Alright, next up, we got our plastic tips. Start. All right, this is, I picked this up at, um, what was it, OKC? Yeah. Yeah, OKC Vapes. It's basically a thumbs up. Get it up you can see it. see it. Um, they come in various colors, green, blue, tinted black, anything. This one, unlike many of the uh, plastic tips I've seen, are um, it's extremely wide board, which means it collects lint and other stuff in your pocket pretty easy if you set it upside down. But it has nice vapor production. Uh, I'm rocking the um, frosted white black swirl acrylic tip. Really nice, doesn't get hot. Um, plastic tips aren't good for your RDAs. If you're sub melting, they'll melt. Uh, you can melt them and you'll get uh, plastic, and if you're melting plastic, you're getting toxins. So, uh, you don't want that your yeah, ones. I'd recommend uh, not using plastic tips on sub ohm builds like we have, but um, really nice. Uh, this tip's really comfortable, acrylic. Mine's not wide board, standard. St comparison. Yeah, pretty standard bore, but uh, nice. Fits your mouth really well. Um, I've noticed with that one, because I used to use it even on tanks, I get um, it's more of like a, what is it, probably fluid. You get fluid in your mouth really easy with it. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Uh, I don't know why it might be the tighter draw, creating a vacuum or something, but um, it's all right. And uh, I've noticed with this one, the O-ring on it protrudes out more than normal, so it does um, stick to your mods. But um, I think it was like $3. It's yeah. not that bad. Next up, we have... Right, no, torches. torches. Uh, torches. Next up, we have the torches. He has a 60 millimeter straight. And I have a 90 millimeter bench bent brushed aluminum torch tip. Used on my Aqua for a long time. Really good for RTAs. Good flavor. Uh, really tight draws though. Yeah. They um they don't get juice in your mouth, but a con to them is you can't drip them directly into... Yeah, if you're using an RDA, you can't drip through the tip. you got to take your barrel off. Um, real nice, though. Impossible to get hot, pretty much. Real nice, though. Next, we got the um, pipe tip. Comes off Nemesis. Um, any really small uh, RDA you can pick up. No. Um, this is an RTA tip. I uh, used it on my Aqua. Um, Tight draw, but wider bore than a lot of the tips that come with RTAs, uh, if you're looking for something like that. Um, nice, really tight snug O-ring. Um, tight, tighter draw, though. Not as tight as the torches. Uh, 
Um, good thing about the pipe tip is it doesn't get hot. But um, next, or the last ones we're going to do, is my Zodiac tip and the tugboat tip. Now, the only way I know how to get a tugboat tip is to buy a tugboat. Yeah, you but, can't really. You can probably pick up clones. Yeah, you can probably get tugboat clone tips. Um, Teflon base, really nice O-ring. Any RDA you put it into, it just snaps in almost. Very um, snug. It's wide bore, really thick, impossible to get hot on anything. The, um, the Zodiac tip ran for about $15 at uh, Vapor World. They come in every Zodiac symbol you can think of or that they make, and you can drip your fluid directly into the mouthpiece. It'll, it's uh, concave at the bottom, so it'll just siphon it down onto your coils. It doesn't really get hot, but it is shiny, so it does get um, like lip residue on it pretty easy. Yeah. The tugboat's brushed, so uh, don't really have that problem. Really good for uh, airflow and vaping, though. All right, guys. Well, that was the last of our tip reviews. We will be doing a couple more on when we get our 26650s because they're bigger to match it. But for now, that's uh, our tip collection. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, thanks for watching. Look out for more review, guys, and uh, have a nice day.